That's my case. I, I, before you take your seat, I have, a, I have a question that I wanted to ask you because yes. it's interesting that life mm -hmm. um, before Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman was a little bit rough. So I'm going to read you some facts that was entered into the court Cuter. case that I want you to speak on and talk mm -hmm. about. It says here. I hate that you're doing that because that was my next point. Let me know if these facts are correct. In 1984, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. Jordan was eliminated in the first round. He was. In 1985, Jordan was eliminated in the first round. Okay. Mm -hmm. In 1986, Jordan was eliminated in the first round. Okay. In 1987, Jordan was eliminated in the second round. In 1988, Jordan was eliminated in the third round. In 1989, he was eliminated in the third round. In 1994, Jordan was eliminated in the second round. In 2001, Jordan doesn't make the playoffs. 2002, Jordan doesn't make the playoffs with the Washington Wizards. Right. Could you explain those facts? It seems a little bit heavy for easy, Mr. Jordan. Easy work, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's just the thing, Your Honor, nobody can. Nobody can explain it. See, what Michael Jordan fans and big old heads want you to understand and want you to believe is that Michael Jordan's career was only six years long. And I don't know why they do it, because the other nine or ten years that he played, he was doing something. I mean, I don't know if he was having a picnic, having lunch. I, he was doing something other than winning championships. And usually more times than not, he was getting bounced out in the first round. See, what people want you to believe and understand is that Michael Jordan's impact on the game was way more than LeBron's in a landslide. Well, finally, an NBA uh, 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 analyst comes out and comes clean. He believes that LeBron James should have won eight consecutive MVPs regular season in a row. And, and, and that's what I'm saying. LeBron and Michael Jordan's impact was pretty much the same. Now, I take LeBron ever so slightly in my, in my GOAT debate. But what people try to make you think is that it's this big landslide. And those same people that say the Michael Jordan number one, they got LeBron too. They, you, you'll rarely hear somebody say Michael Jordan is one, LeBron is 20. Get the hell out. Nobody will ever do nothing like that. If they do that, you have my permission to walk smoothly away from their ass. Clearly, this is not an embrace of two people that hate each other or have any type of disdain for each other's game. They know they made their mark on the game. These two players right here took it to the next level. And I just want to see what you guys feel about this in the comments. Uh, you already know who it is. It's your boy Rick One Ball. We passed 10,000 subscribers. Yeah! Huh. Got the revolver, just like Pistol P. Just in case we wild, wild west while we off in these streets. Karma's a bitch. I hope we meet. Meanwhile, I gotta eat. Lady in this